Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add constrictions to the original geometry and using SolidWorks. So first, open the folder which contains this original SolidWorks file for the original geometry and open it. So here, say no. So after you enter SolidWorks, I believe most of you are familiar with uh, the software. So if you hold down center mouse button, you can rotate the geometry and rotate the view. So first, click on front. So we'll be able to see where the front plane is. So let's say we want to add a constriction here. So we need another reference plane, which is somewhere around here. So what we're going to do first is click Features and then Reference Geometry. Under Reference Geometry, choose Reference Plane. So the first reference is already chosen as the front. And then we're going to specify how far we want our reference plane to be from the front plane. And 10 millimeters looks good because we want our construction to be somewhere around here. So click OK. And now we have our new plane. So right click on plane 1 and then select normal 2. So now we're going to draw a semicircle around here and then do a revolved cut so that we can have a constriction inside our artery. So go to sketch and select circle. So let's say we start from here and we want our constriction to have a radius of 2. So here input 2 and select OK. Since we're doing a revolved cut, we need an axis of re revolution. So draw another line or, uh, vertically. Make sure it goes through the center of the circle. And then do trim. Trim to closest. And then get rid of the other semicircle. After all this is done, go to features. Revolved cut. And for the axis of revolution, choose the axis you have just drawn. And OK. So now we have a constriction inside the artery. But this does not look realistic because the um, boundaries are too rigid. So in order to Make it look more realistic, select fill it and choose this edge around. Afterwards, for the radius, put one millimeter and OK. After all this is done, you will have your nice constriction here in this artery. But in order to import this geometry into Fluent, you will need to save it as a step file. So under File, choose Save As, and then make sure you choose Step. Step 203 will work. And then choose save.